Wow. This is going to be a little bit problematic. Because there's absolutely no way that people will look at this and not see it as political. And it's going to be very interesting, especially due to the fact that since 2016, they keep trying to throw things at him, yet nothing sticks. So people, uh, especially his supporters, have a little bit of fatigue when it comes to yet another investigation, yet another prosecution. And uh, apparently, Donald Trump says that on Tuesday, the New York law enforcement prepares for a possible indictment. In other words, uh, they will try to get him to the police station, take a mugshot, take his uh, fingerprints. And his supporters viewed this as desperation because uh, the January 6th committee didn't really end well after Tucker Carlson released a couple of videos. There was massive panic among the left. And now there's this. I do think that he made an error, though, asking people to protest. Because uh, if there's going to be a single trash can that gets kicked, if there's going to be a single pebble that bounces off a window, anything, like literally anything at all, no matter how small, the left is going to say, ah, oh, see, he incited violence. Look, he is a crazy, unhinged individual. Like That's what uh, they're going to say, and uh, the, the media is going to yet again start with that because they they got nothing at this point they literally have nothing i mean how many things didn't they try to stick on him the pissgate dossier the uh russia collusion uh like all, all of that and nothing managed to stick so now they're desperate uh but what i do think will happen in, in the event that trump actually gets arrested i think that would increase his percentage dramatically like, uh, that that would make him look in, in such a good light to his base, because he's going to look like a victim. He's going to look like the underdog. And you are going to see that uh, he's going to actually get a huge boost in the approval ratings. And this is not a first for the history of America. There has been a person before who ran for presidency from prison. This happened during World War I where you had censorship in the United States. This is when the expression uh, crying fire in a crowded theater came from. Even though, remarkably, at the time, there was a fire, like people were dying in World War I. But uh, it was illegal at the time to criticize the government or to criticize the war effort. Because the United States uh, being on the foot of war in World War I, certain rights have been restricted. So a person manages to get themselves arrested for free speech and they ran for presidency, for presidency from prison. They didn't win though, due to the fact that uh, it's kind of hard to run a political campaign while you're in the penitentiary. But it was a historical precedent, I guess. And what's interesting is that if a prisoner would win, then they can pardon themselves. And if they pardon themselves, <laughs> they're not prisoners, right? Um, now, I generally don't know how far they're willing to take this, to be honest. And up until now, we don't even know if they're actually going to indict him. It's just uh, what Trump is saying to his base. Obviously, he's not saying this because he woke up one day and it's like, oh, I think they're going to indict me. Obviously, it's a person from within Trump's circle, which is warning him about this. And that person can be right or not. We'll see on Tuesday. But uh, from what I understand, there is the possibility of them negotiating whether Trump should uh, go there personally or if the uh, indictment uh, meeting can happen somewhere else. And uh, the people around Trump are advising him not to go personally because it's a safety risk. However, uh, he wants to. This is what CNN has reported. I guess uh, going to New York is a safety risk. I mean, it's a Democrat city. It's uh, very safe. Right? Like they, they have a culture of safety. If it was California, it would have been even more safe because all the trust and safety councils of the entire social media in the United States are there. I mean, what can be more safe? But yes, uh, this is going to be a very interesting media circus that's going to follow. And I do believe it's uh, going to energize his voting base far more than it can energize the left-leaning people. But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section.